Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to the Grimsby Town Road to Glory Career Mode with myself, Tibbin27. For today's episode, we have games away at Portsmouth, uh, away at Fratton Park to start. Then we go and play Bradford at home, another big game there, before going to MK Dons away. So three tough games, I think, today. And, um, yeah, we'll be finishing off October and then getting into November uh, when the Cup will dominate with uh, with Rotherham and an FA Cup game here as well. So it's important that we finish this month strongly and it's going to be a difficult first game for us midweek against Portsmouth under the lights uh, down the south coast. We have obviously got the second team going out there today. There's still some good players in there though. Thompson, uh, Maguire, Taylor, uh, all doing pretty well uh, so far. So hopefully the boys uh, can go and jog go and job can go and get the job done uh, against Portsmouth. They're currently 14th, so a mid-table side, um, but you would expect them to to improve from there. Too many draws seems to be their problem. Uh, we'd, we'd probably take a point there to be fair to kick this episode off uh, and keep us going okay in the playoffs. But a win it could put us back above Bradford before we play them. So it's important. Uh, that we do try and get the three points uh, against the team that we beat to the League 2 title last season. Grimsby versus Portsmouth to kick us off. Let's go. So here we are, first game of the episode. We're under the lights here at Fratton Park to play Portsmouth. The referee for this one is Gary Sutton. I don't know if he's any relation to Chris, but he'll be in the middle for this one. And it shall be... Portsmouth to get it underway. Portsmouth is obviously never an easy place to come to, and I'm pretty sure uh, this time, last season we came here in League Two, we did get beaten 3-2. I'm pretty sure that was the away away game and not the home one. Uh, we found ourselves 3-0 down. Uh, we did make a comeback because of Pepperloo, but um, it wasn't great. But we could be off to a good start here through Maguire, who's looking to pull back onto his right foot. Shot blocked. Decent chance there for the former Cork City man. Referee getting in the way there as some of was looking to get close to Bennett. A foul for Mason Cox, I think it is, and I think it's an injury to Pompey. Uh, it's about the most interesting thing that's happened in this game so far, uh, that, that injury there. Uh, I'm not sure if it is, then nothing's been said as to whether he's gone off or not. They look to chip one in, not bad, and uh, wasn't far away from Schnitzler's goal. Decent free kick, and the header there, well wide I suppose, but um, not a bad effort. Baker is not the quickest, but he might be able to see the ball onto McAllister, which he does. Again, not the quickest player, but he'll go back into Baker. He does well to get past his man. Baker now, finding Ben Davis, can he slip it into Ashley Chambers? Chambers looking to get in, shoots, it's a good save from the keeper, scrambled away from Maguire. And the first decent chance for Grimsby has come and gone. Ball back in though to Chambers. Uh, there goes the half-time whistle. And uh, it's been a very disappointing uh, first half here at Fratton Park. Ser uh, seriously, I mean, the shot just wide of Schnitzer's goal and, and Chambers' chance, that's been it. It's been very dull here between two good defensive teams. Pompey nil, Grimsby nil half-time. Nice little bit of play from the Portsmouth boys and get through. And it's hit the post. Great chance of Pompey. They're still alive. Ben Davis cuts it out. What a chance, though. The best bit of play from either team so far this game. And they strike the post and probably deserve to go, then, to be honest. Oh, good tackle there from Chambers. And again from Ashley Chambers. He was completely in the wrong position, but it doesn't matter because he's going to set away Lyle Taylor here. Who's looking to get past his man? Is that a penalty? Nothing given from the referee. I mean, it was late. Yeah, but apparently, he got the hold of the ball. Taylor. Trying to get past his man, maybe. Trying to go back inside. Chance. Shot blocked. McAllister trying to wiggle. Clear. Taylor. Trying to get it back onto that favoured right foot. Taylor! Strikes it wide of the post. One of the more decent chances in the second half of Grimsby. But dragged worldwide from Lyle Taylor in the end. Decent movement to get away, but wide the post. 
we gave away a penalty there with Barrett. On the edge of the box, don't, can't let him turn. Over the bar, decent chance there. Was that Vegetti? It was Vegetti. In a game of few opportunities, you've got to say he should be hitting the target really, but why are the post it goes in the pitch? Chance of Pompey down the wing here, they're trying to work it around. Summerfield tries to step in, his first mistake of the game. Shot saved from Schnitzler. And that, I think, except the hit in the post, is the first save he's had to make. Doyle it is with the strike. It's straight at the keeper, though. And it pretty much sums up this game. Header! Oh, my days, I thought that I'd gone in. They very nearly snatched the winner here in the last minute. Did Portsmouth a corner after a Doyle shot, and the header was not far away at all. And I should think the full-time whistle will go now. There it is. And that's pretty much the dullest game we're probably going to play this season. Um, very disappointing. Unlike the Barnsley game where we drew 0-0, where there were loads of chances, especially for us. Today, just very little from both teams. Both teams seemed happy for the points. Both teams defended very well, uh, in all honesty. And they never looked like there was going to be a goal. Um, Pompey hit the post. Perhaps they could have shaded it, but... Full time here, Fratton Park, Pompey nil, Grimsby nil. Okay, so despite the uh, disappointing scoreline, we do have to give a man of the match, and for this one, we're going to give it to Luke Summerfield. Uh, they got him as captain there, he wasn't. He just got given the captain's armband after McAllister went off, but um, a very good display from Summerfield today. Again, showing us the depth we actually have in, in the centre midfield position. Um, he might be getting on a bit, but he is still putting in a good shift for us and played very well today. Uh, breaking up the play, so he'll get man the match. Ollie Harfield will get second, the left back. Definitely tried to, to force us forward as much as he could. And, um, yeah, we also played very well defensively today. Uh, and third spot, I'm actually going give to off, give off give to the man I took off uh, in Marcus Baker. Uh, one point to him. Thought he had a good game on that left wing. And I only brought him off just for some pace for the last few minutes. It didn't make a difference, but um, Baker played well today. Uh, and showed some of those experienced pros actually how it was done. So well done to Baker. Uh, well done to all three. Uh, man the match, Summerfield. Second place, Harfield. And third, Marcus Baker. So after a very dull opening game, we have a massive second one against Bradford City. As you can see, Bradford are in third. They actually lost that last game. Um, oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, they actually lost that last game, Bradford. And uh, we could have actually leapfrogged them into second before playing this one against them but um, we're still confident even though it was a disappointing draw in that last match we kept a clean sheet again which is good um, you know against a team that is also very good defensively so we can't be too disheartened from that game uh, as we play Bradford here a win obviously takes us in to the top two which would be brilliant um, Port Vale seem unstoppable at the top at the moment uh, haven't lost a game still yet uh, at the summit so it's going to be a tough one today um, the team for this one... Actually, I'm not sure I went through the team for the last one. The team for the last one was the backup brigade. So this, um, if I didn't go through it. Um, so the team for this one, though, is obviously the main team. So we've got Smith uh, in goal. Kelly, Jones, Boyce and Bell at the back. Bruno, Barrett, Pepelu and Banton in midfield. And Bogle will partner Giuseppe Russo up top. Hopefully the main team can get it done today and produce a better performance than the second string did against Pompey. Can we get three points in this second versus third clash? Let's find out. So here we go. Second game of the episode sees us back at home at Blundell Park for a big game in League One. It is second placed Bradford City travelling here to face third place Grimsby Town. Uh, the ref referee for this one is David Webb, um, who's actually a former South End manager. Um, so... Not sure why he's a referee now, but um, there we go. David Webb, the referee, and Bradford to get us underway for this big League One clash. Duff Barrett looking to control and find a man. There is no men. I see no men. We find Giuseppe Russo, though. If he can get it onto that left foot. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, Giuseppe Russo. So close to banging in another goal. The little Italian has been in fine form so far this season. He just clips the post early on. Unlucky. Uh, uh, 
Gomez. Pepple who gets in there. Russo off. Banter with the strike. Big save from the keeper. Doyle in goal. Stopping a cracking strike from Jason Banton. Good movement from the boys. Banton on the edge of the box. Decent strike. A bit more in the corner. It could have been a goal. Good save from the keeper. Goes back into Kelly. Here's Peppaloo. Oh, what a save from Doyle. I thought for sure Peppaloo was going to find the top corner there. So much time on the edge of the box. It was definitely heading up in there, but a big save from the keeper to keep the score at 0-0. Much better from the boys, though, so far. Bruno again. That's two toast keeper. No, it's not. There's Bogle. And we have taken the lead. And it's from a bloody corner, of all things. <laughs> I can't even remember the last time Grimsby scored from a corner. But they've done it here to open the scoring. Against second place Bradford, great ball from Bruno in the end actually. I thought the keeper was going to come and claim it. He just hesitated a second and Bogle was there. The big aerial threat in the box has struck. Bogle! Get in there. Omar grabs his fourth of the season and puts Grimsby down in front. Six minutes before the break. Great stuff. Also putting the pressure on Derby. There goes the half-time whistle, though. And it is the Mariners that lead at the break here. Deservedly so as well. A dominant first half from them. Eventually the pressure told with Bogle heading in from Bruno's corner. And second place Bradford are on the ropes here. Half-time. Grimsby won Bradford nil. Across the ball. Um, and actually they are going to counter us because Boyce has been left in the dust here by James Hansen, of all people. Um, but blocks the first ball well and blocks the second. Uh, Peppaloo needs to win that, doesn't. Uh, and Ted Smith had a, has a save to make at last. I know that obviously they've like moved into attacking, but our players are physically taking such heavy touches or, you know, just like not moving the ball as quickly as they were a minute ago. Chance here now with Stefano Bruno over the top. James Berrett, what is that control? Can he find the ball on? He can. Henry Kelly looking to get back on his left foot. Can't. And Bradford will come away again. Bradford coming forward here again. Decent ball. Nowhere near it. Hansen has missed it. That's a great opportunity for Bradford. One of the clearest they've created all afternoon. And James Hansen has fortunately missed it for us. Worldwide the target in the end. There goes the full-time whistle here. It, it does, really doesn't feel like a win. It really doesn't feel like a win. Those last 15 minutes really annoyed me. Because we just... I don't know, our touches and everything, it was heavy and slow and laboured from us. And it felt like they wanted them to get an equaliser. And that really annoyed me. We should have killed the game off a lot earlier. But we didn't, and we could have got done there. Hansen dragging his shot wide, though. It is a win, but it's only by a goal to nil. It's finished. Grimsby Town 1, Bradford City 0. Okay, so man of the match for this one will go to Stefano Bruno. Had a brilliant game on that right wing and uh, obviously set up the goal, but also just terrorised uh, their left back. Uh, gave them a really hard game, played really well today, uh, impressed by him again. Uh, second spot will go to Omar Bogle. Uh, again, good, uh, good game from him, obviously got the goal, the winning goal in the end. Uh, and third spot will go to James Berrett, as usual, superb in that midfield role, controlled it ever so well. So top three today, Stefano Bruno, Omar Bogle and James Berrett. OK, so after that terrific win against Bradford, uh, we've now advanced through the week and obviously straight into our final game against MK Dons. Obviously that win lifted us up into second and MK Dons have actually moved into fourth. Uh, they must have won their game as well. So they're absolutely flying at the moment, uh, are the Dons. So going to be a tough game today, away down in uh, in Milton Keynes. The team for this one will be exactly the same um, as the team that beat uh, Bradford in the last game. Uh, and obviously we're looking for a third clean sheet in a row as well. Um, and a second in a row for Ted Smith, if he can keep... No, 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 not a second in a row. Yes, a second in a row for Ted Smith, if he can keep it. Um, so... We're off uh, for this game to play Milton Keynes. A little, little bit of a derby. A little bit. I, I suppose we're quite a way away. Probably about an hour and a half away. But a sort of derby. Um, 
for us to finish the episode, our third game, away at fourth placed MK Dons. Can we grab another win and keep second place in League One? Let's find out. So here we are, third and final game of the episode, as I said, and it is at Stadium MK to face up against fourth placed MK Dons. So here we go, third game of the episode, MK Dons away. Can we get the win? Uh, show their partnership here, and Barrett might be able to find Bogle after just a few minutes. Can he get on that one? Good save. Can it drop to Russo? No, it can't. MK Don scramble clear. I mean, that came out of nothing. The ball from Barrett wasn't actually very good, but somehow made its way through to Bogle, who very nearly scored. Okay. Here and Agar getting away from his man. This looks dangerous. Edge of the box. First shot blocked. Oh, lovely tackle from Dan Jones to stop that attack. That was absolutely perfect. And we could get away on the counter with Omar Bogle as well. He's got the pace for sure. Has he got the finish? Shot blocked. Unlucky Omar Bogle. Very new did them on the counter after an absolutely amazing tackle from Dan Jones. Shot blocked though. Corner for Grimsby. Hidon's going forward here. Decent cross. Bloody hell, that nearly went in. Oh, what was Ted Smith doing? Deary me. Nearly let it drop in and nearly gave Milton Kings a very easy lead. They've got pretty good form ourselves, though. Amari Bell now. Looking forward for Giuseppe Russo, who's got onto it. Cracks one and scores! And there we go. I was literally just saying, oh, Giuseppe Russo struggling a bit at the moment. And then he goes and, goes and does that. Oh, man. He's just... He's just special. You know when you have a player on FIFA and they're special. Well, that's Giuseppe Russo. Uh, well, being told I've got 10% battery, that's great. But... Oh, this boy. How has he found the angle from there? Just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Out of nothing, Giuseppe Russo as well as a goal. The ball into him wasn't even that good, but um, that's what he does. He makes something out of nothing, and he celebrates with a little jig. And it is, uh, it's only his second goal in League One, um, but obviously he's been scoring in the Cups as well. Well done, Giuseppe Russo. MK Dons nil. Grimsby Town 1. Kieran Agard now, looking against Team 4 just before half-time. Won't be able to, though, because James Ferret puts in a superb tackle. And Stefano Bruno can't get something in the attack because the half-time whistle is gone. Decent first half on the Gumsby boys. Definitely look the better team overall. And that man again uh, has come to something out of nothing um, to make the half-time score. MK Dons nil, Grimsby Town 1. A little turn inside and he'll find James Barrett. Nearly, there was a ball on for a second for, for Russo, but then it went again. Barrett now. Bell. That's not a ball. Oh, Russo's got it. Russo. Oh, nearly again from a tight angle. What a sight. Again, that just came out of nothing. I didn't think the ball was going to make it. Then it did. And Russo very nearly squeezed it in again from a tight angle. 1 0 still, though. The scoreline. MK Dom's coming forward here looking for an equaliser, which they haven't really threatened, but there's a chance. And uh, the header is straight at Ted Smith. Kelly out jumped. But Watching their direction on the header. But that one, Henry Kelly's wing again. Good tackle again, Jones. Coming forward here, gets in behind. Massive save from Ted Smith at the back post there. I thought for a second I'd given away a penalty because there's a clip on afterwards here on Bowditch. That is lucky to not get given as a penalty. Bell trying to block the ball, but well done, Ted Smith. Called into action and saves well. Um, as Pepperloo finds Bogle, I was hoping Russo would make the run, but Bogle can run through. Shot saved. Good chance to absolutely seal it here in stoppage time, but uh, the keeper saves well to keep it at 1-0. Uh, Bogle will now go off for Sean Maguire, whose pace there probably actually would have been better. He probably could have got through and had an easier finish. Um, Stefano Bruno with the ball, way too close to the keeper, he'll collect, but there goes the full-time whistle, it's a very well-earned three points here for Grimsby Town. Uh, a tough game uh, against the Dons, who uh, are, are looking to get back up to the championship, but their good run comes to an end here, thanks to the brilliance 
of Giuseppe Russo. Tight game, not much in it, but in the end, a little bit of class from the 16-year-old has made all the difference. Final score here at Stadium MK, MK Dons nil, Grimsby Town 1. OK, we have to award a man of the match after that one, and for it, it shall go to Giuseppe Russo. Absolutely superb today up front, uh, and deservedly got his goal um, to ensure the 1-0 victory. Second spot is a tough one, but I'm going to give it to Dan Jones. Agree with FIFA here. I thought he was superb at the back. So many good tackles uh, and stopping a, a really dangerous attack as well in that first half, I remember. So second spot to him. And third spot, again, a really tough one today. But I'm going to give it to... I'm going to give third spot to the captain here, James Barrett. Again, it's it just... Um, it's just another captain's performance, like very solid in midfield. Nothing outstanding today, not like the last game, I didn't think as much, but still good enough, I think, to get a point today. So Giuseppe Russo gets man of the match, second down Jones, and third, James Barrett. So after that win against MK Dons, uh, we have remained in second spot, uh, moved on to 30 points, uh, still five points behind leaders Port Earl, uh, who are still unbeaten as well, having an absolutely terrific season up there. Uh, but we're going well. I mean, 15 games into the season now, we're a fair chunk in and um, well on course for promotion, either as a, as a top two side or maybe via the playoffs. There's now a seven point gap between us and Millwall there on the fringes, but it's very tight from Scunthorpe down. There's four points separating fourth down to 13th in Gillingham. So a lot of teams competing. Uh, for the playoffs. As you can see, my team, South End in real life, um, have moved up into the playoffs, but they're on a minus goal difference, so it's it's ever so tight at the moment up there, but we're doing well, we're grinding out results, uh, and that 1-0 win at MK Dons has certainly helped us. Just show you the bottom of the table, show how it's going down there. Plymouth Argyle, yet to win a game, opposite of Port Vale, and um, yeah, they look certain to go straight back down. Oldham, Bristol Row is an Exeter, uh, also struggling, Chesterfield, Barnsley and Pompey uh, not far away. So the, the teams that came up with us, Plymouth Extra and, and Portsmouth, all struggling at the moment. Um, but yeah, that is going to be uh, be it for this episode. A good episode, two wins and a draw, three clean sheets as well on the trot. So we're really doing well um, defensively. As you can see, we've only conceded eight goals, best in the league by far, uh, yet to go into double figures. So we'll try and keep that going. In the next episode, uh, got some fairly big games coming up, um, including another one in the Checker Trade Trophy. So we'll get into that in the next episode. I think we'll have another scouting report as well to go through. So we'll look forward uh, to that uh, and carrying on this road to glory with Grimsby Town. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please do leave a like on it. Uh, it's always good to see thumbs up on the videos. Uh, and subscribe as well if you're new to the series. Uh, if you are new, then go and check out um, what's happened before uh, in the series and check out the rest of my channel as well, uh, especially the pro club stuff as well that I've been getting up recently. Um, there'll be links in the description uh, to my Twitter, at Tibbin27, and my Twitch, again, Tibbin27, so go and check them out as well. But that is it for this episode. Do join me again next time. But for now, it's Tim and 27, out.